Durham Parks and Recreation is using grant funds to help pay for remote learning support during the COVID-19 crisis. The department has been awarded $193,000 by the North Carolina Alliance of YMCAs. The funds will be used to reimburse DPR for expenses it has incurred while providing safe and supervised environments for remote learning at three recreation centers through the Recreation Works program. Since Durham Public Schools started classes virtually in August, supervised programs have been held during the day at Edison Johnson and W.I. Patterson Recreation Centers for children ages 5 to 12. A program for children ages 7 to 12 has also been held at the Holton Career and Resource Center. The centers had to add staff or hours, staff training on cleaning protocols and COVID-19 policies, and program supplies such as upgraded broadband, desk, chairs, and computers. The grant funds are available through the North Carolina Coronavirus Relief Act 3.0 that was signed into law in September. DPR's programs have been free for city residents. For more information about the Recreation Works program, visit dprplaymore.org slash 470. And be sure to follow the department on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The work of Durham's Welcome Home program during the COVID-19 crisis is also being supported by state grant funds. The program helps to provide re-entry supports for justice-involved individuals after they're released from prison. During this year's health crisis, many who are at high risk of adverse health outcomes from COVID-19 and who have served a majority of their sentence for lower-level offenses have been released early. Welcome Home is one of the organizations that has played a crucial role in supporting these individuals as they return to Durham. The program meets with returning residents immediately upon their return home and provides peer support during their first month back home to connect them to important services that can help with their re-entry. They are also provided a care package of basic goods, including PPE and a smartphone, which is more important than ever with so many activities taking place virtually. In order for the Welcome Home program to increase its capacity, it has been awarded a $38,000 grant from the North Carolina Justice Center. The funding will be used to increase the program's two part-time peer support staff from under 30 hours per week to 40 hours per week. The city and county are taking more steps to protect the Little River watershed and Durham's supply of high-quality drinking water. The city will pay Durham County $30,000 to go toward the purchase of the Trail End property. The property consists of three parcels totaling 2.7 acres of undeveloped wooded land along 400 feet of the Little River. That's one mile upstream of the Little River Reservoir. The property consists of three developable lots and have existing property rights against having to meet impervious surface limits. Under the county's ownership, all of the property will be protected from any developed uses. There are also no planned developed recreational uses of the property, which would prevent water quality impacts from construction, grading, increased impervious surfaces, and a reduction in the tree canopy. The City of Raleigh is also helping to fund the purchase. The total cost of buying the property is nearly $98,000.